Hello! This video explains why drying polycarbonate or lexan is super important. First to start off with, this is our oven for drying polycarbonate and lexan material. If you don't dry it, you get terrible results and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But first let me explain this oven. This oven is a dispatch oven and uh, I'm in Minnesota. It was originally made in Minnesota. It is a laboratory type oven that can get up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than enough for drying polycarbonate. Um, they usually say about 120 degrees Celsius for drying polycarbonate, but since we're running such thin stuff, we've had good luck with even around 100 degrees Celsius for around an hour in the oven. Uh, if you don't want an oven or don't have an oven that can go quite high enough or whatever, that, that'll do fine. This oven originally had slots, which you can see these square, or this kind of bolts kind of kind of designate the area where there was a slit and a rubber flap, and they would slide specimens into there. Now, this particular oven and laboratory was handling the Ebola virus. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, no, we sealed up that with sheet metal, and then we got expanding foam to fill the void, heat resistance expanding foam, uh, high temperature fire break stuff put that in there to fill the voids so that should be fine fairly well insulated why do we have the duct tape on there because we're too lazy to take it off because that's what we used to kind of hold the sheet mill up there to get mark all our holes for the drills and the bolts and everything we just haven't taken it off laziness and now that adhesive is probably stuck on there probably look ugly if we take it off kind of like it kind of didn't leave a mark over here so yeah that's our oven uh let me show you why you want to dry polycarbonate and luxan. Oh, and one other thing. This oven has the heating elements down at the bottom. The hot air rises and goes out through here. Now, if you read any manufacturers of polycarbonate suggestions for drying luxan polycarbonate, they recommend hanging stuff vertical so that the hot air can come in in convection style and take out the heat. And this does that exactly. Works perfect. There's some other industrial ovens out there that the heat comes in from the sides that's not going to be as efficient as drying. We were looking, shopping for uh, ovens, used ones. Those type of ovens, industrial ovens, were horrendously expensive. I'll let you know what we paid for this right here. This was $600. One of those industrial ovens normally advertised was around $1,000 to $2,000, plus we were going to have to freight it in. So this was actually located in the Twin Cities near us. We were able to just go with the pickup truck, load it in the back of the pickup truck, and bring it to our location. Save us a lot of money on the price of the oven and shipping charges. Okay, now over here, this is why you want to dry your polycarbonate wet sand. Now this was first runs on our machine, our vacuum forming machine, and we didn't dry it ahead of time. We knew this was gonna happen, but here's what happens. You get these little air bubbles in there. Now how do the air bubbles form? The water moisture trapped inside the plastic flashes over and turns into a vapor at a certain temperature. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what happens then when it does reach that temperature. And you can see it. When it's getting hot, all of a sudden, boom, these bubbles form in it. So you don't want that. It does kind of have a cool effect if you could figure out a way to mask out the windows so the windows stayed clear and the rest of it was, you know, bad looking. Then it'd, be, it'd probably have a cool effect with your paint job. I don't know. Then over here, this is an old one we were gonna give away for free, but we use it actually to cover up the mold and protect the mold in storage. But look at the tiny little dots in here. This is when it's dried, but really not dried enough. And this is from when the first place we had manufacture uh, our bodies for us using our molds. And their oven, we saw later after the fact, explains why this is. It was terrible oven. It was like a homemade, practically oven thing with a fan inside of it uh, and like insulation sheeting foam core stuff you'd use on like the side of your house or a building or something like that for construction. It, and then they had a heating element inside. It was never gonna dry this stuff really adequately enough um, because they probably weren't getting hot enough. And then the other stupid thing is they, to, you have to have a gap between those sheets. So, the moisture and the heat can get to it and make you know or the the heat can get to it and get the moisture out and everything you gotta have a gap their gap for the sheets was a paper clip and if you want to get even worse they never removed any of this stuff before drying they left both sides of the protective sheet uh, uh coating or sheeting on 
the lexan polycarbonate before they dried it or as they dried it so then you could you can't get that that moisture out as effectively because you got to get through this kind of almost a membrane first not that it can't but it's going to take a lot more then the second place we we left that place went to another place to have it done they were drying it at abs temperatures which are a little bit lower and trying to make up for it by doing it longer and that didn't come out well at all either that looked a lot like this uh, a little bit better but it still looked a lot like this and i don't know what they were doing for the gap between the sheets and if they left this on or not but you would see on some of theirs half you, we would have wings and gear covers made in one big pole and half the sheet would have the little pits in it these little bubble things in it and the other would not which means that side didn't probably have uh, space to get that vapor out you know the water moisture out or it wasn't getting the heat to it in that spot wherever it was in the oven to cook that out adequately and eventually I'll over some other issues we left that place and that's why we're doing our own stuff but this mainly the video is just to kind of show you why it's important to dry it if you don't dry it you get terrible looking bodies terrible terrible looking bodies now there are some other plastics out there that you could maybe make bodies out of and fake you know and say they're like sand they're not really like sand um, I think acrylics one of them which acrylic is really brittle and you don't have to dry it. there's some other ones out there you don't have to dry but ABS and polycarbonate you have to dry uh, before you run it or you run the risk of this sort of issue with your bodies so if you're gonna get into doing this think about drying and then the thing is after it's done drying you take it out and you let it sit for a while it's gonna start immediately sucking moisture in you probably could go for at least a couple hours and be fine before you start to notice anything even like this in it but after a few hours you're probably gonna start to get spots like this body in it that uh, you don't want and you're gonna have to redry the plastic again so we go right from our oven over there right into the machine now let me show you how we have them in the oven okay in the oven this had shelves for all these specimens to slide in and out and they didn't lose the heat out the doors by having these just little flaps in you. you didn't have that hot air were massively escaping but of course for doing this if you put the sheets flat which we did for a while but it works terribly um we would put little spacers in between each sheet problem is that this would start to stick and mar the surface of the uh, lexan from the heat it would retain so that didn't work very well uh, so we had to come up with a better way and just one day brainstorming coming home from work I realized the best answer get them vertical right well you could make a rack or something like that well that's a lot of work to make a rack or you could slide them in horizontally and make a rack to slide them in that's a lot of work as well then you run the risk who knows maybe marks again on it nope easier binder clips and s hooks this is one of the existing shelves and then we have binder clips of a few different sizes this is good enough for the size we're running right now uh, for the larger sheets we do we might need the bigger ones we haven't uh, done the bigger sheets yet so we don't know for sure but we got them just in case but yeah they're just hanging and they're hanging um, horizontally you can see here just to allow more space between the binder clips so the clips don't run into each other and uh, prevent the sheets also from kind of sticking to each other when they start to get warm that is an issue as well since we don't have anything separation but the way it is right now this is a deep enough oven we're getting 16 sheets I believe in here which is for us for this size sheet we're running is a full 4x8 sheet of Lexan so that makes it, that means we got a full 4x8 sheet hanging in here ready to go in the machine and that's usually about all we want to do with a run of bodies on our molds you know right now uh, maybe in the future we might do more but then why, you know, why are we hanging horizontally when we could hang it vertically and maybe get more in? Well, this is why. We preheat our molds up. Now, we're having a problem, and this is to help try and see if we can fix it, but uh, this is not quite fixing it yet. Uh, when your plastic hits the mold, it, it uh, cools, and so it, it can cause effects and 
quality effects on your body. I won't go into it in detail right now, but yeah, so this is why we're hanging it like this, is to make space to warm up the bowl before we run it and keep it, hopefully start at a good temperature. Uh, this is something we're just starting with now. I don't know if this is going to work, but this is something you can use with your drying oven. This one also goes up to 400, so we can potentially use this drying oven for, uh, uh, what do you call it? Powder coating. That's it. 